Good morning, Pastor Richard here with Cornerstone Church. I hope that you're having a blessed day today. You know, I've been sitting here in my office this morning and reflecting on this powerful message from Pastor Morris in our services this weekend. He took us to that moment in Luke chapter 5. You might remember it when Jesus was teaching in a home in Capernaum. And there were so many people who gathered in and crowded around to see Jesus that you couldn't even get into the house. He talked about the different people who were there that day, and there were some religious leaders who were there simply to oppose Jesus, and Moore said some insightful things. You know, when we're committed to the call of Christ, when we're about the kingdom of God, there are always going to be haters. Haters going to hate, <laughs> and, and you just have to let them do their job. He said, don't do their job for them. There are going to be people who oppose you, but you stay focused on your call and focused on the kingdom of God and see what God is going to do. I thought that was so powerful. And he talked about the different folks who were there that day, those who were in the crowd who were interested in hearing about Jesus, but maybe weren't following him yet. And then he had a few committed disciples. But then there were these friends, these four friends who were carrying their paralytic friend and doing everything that they could to get him into the presence of Christ. They, they realized they couldn't get through the crowd, and so they climbed up onto the roof, not being deterred by the obstacles in the way. They were going to do whatever they could to get him into the presence of Jesus, and they began to rip open a hole in the roof. What a powerful picture of love as they lowered their friend through the roof into the presence of Christ. And it's there that he encounters Jesus and his life is changed forever. In our life group last night, we had this really rich conversation about that. And we talked about the different people who were there that day. And then we began to talk about those friends and what it was like uh, to have friends like that. Uh, do we have friends in our life who will carry the mat for us because there are times and seasons in our life when we just can't get up and go, when we just can't muster up any strength to move. Do we have friends who will pick up the mat and carry us into the presence of Jesus? I hope that you have friends like that. And if you don't, I'm praying that you find friends like that because we all need people in our life who will carry the mat for us. But to have friends like that, we have to be willing to be friends like that. Who are we willing to carry the mat for? Who are we willing to do whatever it takes to get them into the presence of Christ? And I, I've been challenged by that, and I've been thinking about that. Who are the people that I'm called to carry the mat for? And I've been praying for those people and praying that I would be that kind of friend who wouldn't be deterred by obstacles or opposition, but would do whatever it takes to get them to Jesus and to know that in his presence, everything can change. So I've been wrestling with all of that. And then in our life group last night, Kevin said something that's just been messing with me ever since. He said, you know, every time I hear that story, I think of the owner of the home, what it was like for him that all of a sudden people started ripping open his roof. Was he? What was he thinking about? Was he going, oh my goodness, what, what's going to happen? Can I turn this into my insurance? What's this going to do to the resale value of my home? And I've been thinking about that man ever since. Who was the owner of this home? He, he obviously admired Jesus. Maybe he knew Jesus. He invited Jesus into his home to come and speak and to share but I don't know if he really understood what he was signing up for when he put Jesus at the center of his home. See, when Jesus came into the heart of his home, when Jesus came into the center, things began to happen. Crowds gathered who were interested in hearing more about this Jesus. And they probably were making messes and he was already going, what am I going to do with this crowd? And then the haters were there and they probably hated him because he was associated with Jesus. And then there were these people who began to tear open his home, to tear apart his roof, to get someone into the presence of Christ. And I wonder if he was wondering if this was a good idea, if it was good to invite Jesus into the heart of his home. But then he got to witness a miracle. He saw a man saved and transformed. 
at this man who had been lying on a mat for who knows how long, all of the sudden, by faith, in response to the word of Jesus, he, he didn't just believe what he saw in front of him. He didn't believe his circumstance. He didn't believe the haters. He didn't believe the world. He trusted the word of Jesus. And by faith, he activated his faith by responding to the word and standing up and experiencing the power of God in his life that enabled him to walk. As I've been reflecting on that story today, it just reminded me that, you know, we're called to be the owner of the home. I think as the church, we're called to be those who invite Jesus into the heart and the center of everything that we are and everything that we do. But when we do that, we have to be willing to accept what comes along with putting Jesus at the center. Sometimes there's going to be opposition. Sometimes there's going to be haters when we put them at the center of our home. Sometimes there's going to be crowds or others who come in and bring all their baggage and their stuff with them that come in. And then there are going to be those who in seemingly make messes and break stuff in order to get into the presence of Christ. And I've just been challenged today. Do I love people? the way that God does? Do I care more about the ministry than the messes? Because with the ministry, there will come messes. Do I care more about those that need to get into the presence of Jesus than I care about my roof or my resale value? Cornerstone, I just want to challenge you today. I want to be the kind of church that puts Jesus at the center of everything and that by focusing on Him and what He can do, it's going to bring the crowds, those people who are interested in hearing more, who want to see Jesus, who want to be near him, but maybe they're not followers yet. It's going to bring some haters too. And it might even bring some messes, some messy people and messy situations that break through and need to break through the stuff. And I, and I want to be the kind of church that cares more about them than I care about the mess that they bring. And so I want to challenge you, church, Who's a friend in your life carrying the mat? Who's God calling you to carry the mat for? And let's focus more on the ministry than the mess and keep Jesus at the heart of everything. Cornerstone, I hope that you have a blessed week and get ready. God's on the move. God bless.